All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video. And today we are going to be looking at the X record green cards in this set. And green as a whole got a pretty good boost. Uh, it's going to have some really high tier decks, especially uh, in, uh, Frank Wagam online. It's going to get a pretty good boost. Uh, so let's go ahead and give these cards some grades. Uh, here is my grading rubric. As you can see, A goes from A, B, C, F. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. First, we're going to grade our Digi Egg for this green, uh, like green Digi Egg for the set, which is Motimon. On, um, reads, while this Digimon has insectoid in its traits, it gets plus a thousand. So there's going to be a whole insectoid um, archetype going on. And the, the fact that it's going to get a thousand just with the Motimon is pretty good. I like this card. I'm going to give you this a C plus. Honestly, the only way I, th I think that an, a Digi Egg for me can get more, uh, a better grade is if it draws a card or gains memory. There's not a lot of cards that do that at the Digi Egg level. Uh, so this is a pretty solid egg. I'm going to go to C plus. Um, it's definitely an egg that you'll see in Ektoy things like that. Next, Elekmon and Kokuamon. Both of these cards are rookies. Uh, Elekmon is not super great. It has higher dp than the typical ricky card but it does cost three to play down you could easily replace this card you don't really need to play this card so elikmon is going to get an f Kokuomon is going to receive a b it's actually a pretty solid card it is an x antibody that digivolves from a regular version Kokuomon. Uh, and if you do that you play it or you digivolve it on top of a regular Goku. you reveal the top three cards from your deck and add a card with insectoid or machine excuse me in its traits and one X and a body, the option among them to your hand. Then you place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. So this is a searcher that you can play or digivolve. Provide more sources for your Digimon. Um, because you have some cool abilities that you can do. Sources. Uh, so you get to be pretty good, pretty good for a rookie. I like it. <clears throat> Palmumon and Ninjamon. Palmumon's actually gonna get a D. Players can't play Digimon by effects. I like that. Um, it's essentially the, the side effect that Crimson Blaze with off the red cards options does after it's deleted Digimon. Um, the problem is this Digimon's a little too weak to really stand. Um, there are already cards that do this in other colors. Uh, but it's still, I don't think it's enough. If this Digimon was a little bit stronger, a little sturdier, or perhaps a higher level, higher DP, it's harder to get rid of. This would be a really good ability. At this point, I don't think it's going to be run. I don't see Palm this Palmamon card making it in any decks. Uh, but even less so, Ninjamon is even more useless. It drops for four, swings for six, Digivolves for two. You don't really, none of that is really outstanding in any way for a level four. Um, so it's not going to be getting a passing grade at all. In fact, this is a terrible card. I'm not, not even gonna talk much more than that. But let's continue. Kuagamon, the X antibody version, provides insectoids with piercing as an inheritable. That's pretty good because in this situation, with this new decks, you're not gonna have the tamers, you're not gonna have the the JP piercing. You're gonna get piercing from somewhere, and so you're gonna do that with the Kuagamon that you have here. And this Kuagamon also derives from Seer from a regular Kuagamon. You can turn it into the X antibody version. Um, there's no ability that goes with that, uh, but. Most of these X antibody cards have some sort of ability that makes them strong. The piercing is pretty good with this. 6,000 DP, Digivolves for two of a regular green card. Pretty solid. I'm gonna give this card a B minus. I think it's pretty strong. Leomon, the X antibody version, is a two color card. It is going to be deleted. You go if it's going to be deleted, you get to play a Leomon for your different cards without paying the memory cost. It means that this is going to be working in heavy Leomon decks, meaning. You're running a lot of Leomon cards. Um, it does digivolve from a regular Leomon for zero, but honestly, it's just not that great. It can go with green or blue, that's fine. Um, and you can digivolve it from a Leomon, but then you can play a Leomon. That's not gonna be super useful. Maybe you can get the uh, blocker Leomon that comes with Jerry. Um, to get another blocker going, but honestly, it's not a great card. If you did Digivolve, then you're done. If the card is, it's not going to... to get a D. It does some interesting stuff. It's double color, but honestly, probably not going to be much more. Next, Hanjimon, X Antibody, and Okuomon, X Antibody. 
Hagemon is going to receive a D. It's not great. It's a lot like Leomon. It is, in fact, part of the Leomon line. It's treated as if it has Leomon in its name. In addition to that, it digivolves for zero from a regular Pangemon. And then it has an alternate ability. When this Digimon would be deleted in battle, you can play a Leomon. You've seen that already. Just in the set. It is green and blue. Again, interesting stuff going on. Nothing more than a D. Uh, whereas Okuamon, the X and the body, is actually going to receive a B. I think this is a high B, to be honest. Almost an A. Okuamon does pretty good abilities that go along with its archetype. It digivolves for zero from Okuamon. Um, and when it digivolves, if you have an Okuamon or the X and a body option in this Digimon Digivolution cards, you can suspend your opponent's Digimon. And then if the Digimon is attacking, you can switch the target of attack to one of your opponent's suspended Digimon. So a lot of the times what happens is people want to swing into a Digimon that is not suspended. This lets you do that. This lets you suspend the Digimon that you want to attack, that you would like to attack into, even though you don't have to declare the attack on it. You could say, I'm going to check security with this, suspend your other card, and then going to switch targets to that Digimon I just suspended um, and attack and kill that, right? So pretty useful. 8 DP is going to kill most things uh, when evolving like that, especially if they're not level 5 like this. Level, lower levels, it'll kill something. Uh, on your return, when this Digimon with Digimon to a Digimon with Insectoid, reduce the cost by 1. Very helpful. This is cost by one. So it can, number one, suspend your opponent's Digimon. It can switch targets, and then it can reduce the cost. All of those are very good things. I like this a lot. Going to receive a B. High DP. Uh, Sierra from Kuagamon. I like this card a lot. Next, Damiomon and Fujinmon. Damiomon is going to get an F. Nothing outstanding. High DP, bit kind of a beater. But you're not. You don't want to check into security with nine. That's not enough. That's a terrible number. Um, if this was a champion swinging for nine, sure, it would get a higher passing grade, but not at level five. Level five, 9,000 is not great at all. And next, Fujinmon is going to get a C minus. Uh, it doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, like cards we've seen before already, for one memory, you could play it, place it under Rinmon or Justimon, and then its ability uh, under as an inheritable is that when you attack, you can suspend your opponent's Digimon with 5,000, and then it doesn't unsuspend. Solid. Um, and then if you, whenever you Digivolve, you can trash one Digimon card with Machine or Cyborg to suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Solid. I like the abilities. They're not great. They're super specific. Um, 5,000 is not going to suspend most things. It might be annoying. Uh, maybe it works much better with the, with the whole line going. But right now, I don't see this card being anything better than a C-. Um, C at best. This card is not amazing. But let's talk about some amazing cards here. Next, Grandis Kuagamon. Probably the best card of the green set. Maybe even the whole um, X record set. This card does a lot. It's going to get an A from B easily. No problem. What this Grandis Kuagamon does? Well, it did you ask for one, or one from a regular Grand Kuagamon. So if you're playing Grand Kuagamon, you sh which you should probably play the promo in that situation, uh, you can Digivolve for one. When you Digivolve, to spend one of your opponent's Digimon, and then if this Digimon is attacking, you may switch the target of attack to one of your opponent's suspended Digimon. So just like Okuamon does, it can suspend the Digimon and then attack it uh, in the same turn. So you don't have to declare uh, a Digimon that you want to attack uh, at the beginning. You can uh, suspend your opponent and then switch targets into it to kill it. On your turn, this Digimon also gains plus 4,000, so it's going to be swinging for 16. Stronger than most Digimons, on your turn, if as you have the player with this Digimon, there's almost no Digimon that reaches 16, except for a couple, um, right now at least. So it's probably going to be dying to Grand Kuagamon on Digivolution. And then at the end of the attack, once per turn, if you have Grand Kuagamon or, or the X and the body option in the Digivolution cards, you can suspend one of your opponent's Digimon and a suspend this Digimon itself. So you can kill something, suspend another Digimon, and then unsuspend yourself and swing again. That's incredible. Incredible value. This thing is killing multiple Digimon. Um, can kill multiple Digimon. Can kill multiple things. If it has piercing, even better. This is a monster of a Digimon with its abilities. Just thinking of all of the potential with this card is incredible. So Grandis Kuagamon, a very awesome card. Make sure that you have it if you're going to be red and green. This card is incredible. Dino Tiger Mon says C-. minus. It Digimon's from Sailor Leomon. It is part of the Leomon uh, line, it digivolves for 4, brings for 12, 
When attacking, if you have a card with Diamond of uh, or X antibodies in the Digivolutions, you can suspend one of your opponent's Digimons or Tamers. That's pretty solid, and look, literally the only reason why I'm giving this a passing grade is because, is because it can suspend your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. I don't see this card being in any decks at this time, but if you want to play with it, that's a pretty useful ability. In addition to that, on your turn, once per turn, when your opponent's Digimon or Tamer becomes suspended, you can unsuspend this Digimon. So you can attack and unsuspend. Pretty good. Solid. I like it. Try to attack him on. Passing grade C minus. Mimi and Joe. This is the only tamer for green. Um, it's gonna get an A. Its ability is actually incredible. So what it does is if you have a suspended if you have a suspended Digimon, which green usually does have, you gain one memory. And if your opponent has suspended Digimon, you gain one memory. So if there's suspended Digimon. On your side you get one if you have a suspended digimon on your opponent's side you gain one that's pretty good because that's likely to happen and if it doesn't then your opponent probably just doesn't have any digimon on the field playing at the moment and then when one of your green or blue digimon deletes an opponent's digimon in battle and survives you can suspend this tamer to draw one so this tamer gives you a little bit of draw power it's gonna give you some memory very often these are not a hard thing to do I like this uh, Tamer a lot. It might be my favorite Tamer of the set. Green comes in with some really good power at the Tamer and at the high level Digimon. And this is one of those cards that makes Green um, one of the better colors of the set. Next, Grandis Scissor and Ground Fang. These two are options. Um, they're pretty, they're, for what they do, they're solid. They're going to receive solid grades. First, a B for Grand Scissor. What Grand Scissor does is it suspends one of your opponent's Digimon and then it suspends one of your Digimon with Insectoid in its traits. And then you can attack into your opponent's Digimon. Not like a Blitz. It's actually pretty solid. It's an, it's going to suspend you, your opponent. It's going to unsuspend you if you have Insectoid and let you attack. Almost like a Blitz all together in one pretty solid package. I like that a lot. It's going to receive a B. Pretty good. Um, Ground Fang, but what... What it does is a really, really strong thing, uh, but it's very costly. And literally the only reason it's getting a lower grade is because of its cost. It costs eight, but what it does is it returns one of your opponent's suspended Digimon and one of their suspended Tamers to the bottom of the owner's deck. That's an incredible ability. This, this is incredible. If it was any cheaper, it would easily go, if it was, if it just cost seven, this would be a B plus or even an a and even less if you had any way to make this even cheaper that would be an easy a no problem this card would be broken i don't see this card being played a lot because it does cost eight and if it does get played maybe somebody will run one of them just because of what it does it can clear two things one digimon one gamer um i like it i think you'll see it um but i don't think you'll see it that much that's the reason it gets a c um, I do think you'll see Grand Scissor a little bit more often um, because I think it has more value to it to give you another attack. If you already had a um, Grand Kuagamon, um, the X Body version, I don't remember the name right now, uh, you can Blitz with it a third time, unsuspend yourself another time, and then attack at the point. So something will get. Huh? And if you have Piercing, well, you're destroying things left and right. This card is great. So, Green as a whole does great. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this one, please. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.